What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for another episode of the vlog. Today, I'm gonna be taking you guys through a full day of eating. I thought it would be cool because my diet's actually changed quite a few times. I was six weeks out yesterday morning, so that means I'm five weeks and changed this morning. I weighed in at 230.0 even. It is Sunday, April 11th. I'm ready to get after the day. This is gonna be a longer video because we're gonna do a full day of eating and then I'm actually gonna go work out and Damien is filming this workout, so this is gonna be a long one. If you guys enjoy it, if you guys like the longer vlogs, please smash the like button just so I know, like, hey Mike, we like the longer videos. If you don't like it, just let me know in the, uh, let me know in the comments below. I really wanna show you guys what I eat now. Six weeks out, it's, it's drastically different than my last, uh, my last cutting diet, we cut a lot of carbs and stuff. So let's just get right into it, guys. I'm gonna start making breakfast here, put together a little montage for you. So sit back, grab some pre-workout, relax. All right, boys, it's Sunday. You're probably seeing this on a Thursday, but if it's your rest day, just chill. If not, watch this. Let's get pumped up together, and let's just kill the day, all right? All right, boys, there you have it. We got six slices of turkey bacon. We have a cup and a half of egg whites, two whole eggs. This is one scoop of rice and grinds. I believe it's cinnamon and brown sugar. This is one cup of black coffee. That's your water. Honestly, um, I like turkey bacon better. Not that I have an option right now, but when I was eating normal bacon like I just don't like it it's greasy it gets everywhere I know I'm probably the exception and not the rule I think most of you probably like bacon better but I just love turkey bacon and I I would s stick with it in the off season I in fact I want to if you guys are curious about the supplements I take like in the morning so this is uh, daily greens from revive they have a pill form and I believe I showed you guys the um, mixed drink form but I like the pills because if I travel, I can just have a couple of vitamins as opposed to trying to find water in a cup and stir it. Um, but the chocolate does taste good. I love it. I actually ordered more because when I am home, now that I'm on prep, <laughs> every little thing that tastes good uh, helps. That's one thing that I have. And then here's my complete thing here. So I take uh, some stuff for kidney. You got liver, uh, glucose. We have um, omega-3s, adrenal core I take at night, digest aid with my meals to help digestion, lipids, and calm. Calm helps you like stay calm, stay calm. And then also it helps with your sleep at night. And there's one other thing that I normally take that I ran out of just yesterday, already on order, is the Renew Life uh, probiotics just to keep the gut biome in check. Now, if you guys don't have the money for these vitamins, it's okay. But I would highly recommend it because, you know, whatever you fuel your body with, long term, that's what you're going to get out of it, you know? So the way I look at it is the vitamins are expensive, but, you know, do I want to get... And you never know, right? Like, you can't see the future. I can't be like, oh, I'm not going to get cancer now. But if you take care of your, your engine, you know what I mean, then you have a better chance, right? Because... The way I look at it is, what are the medical bills gonna be if my kidney and my liver and like my stomach are shutting down and taking hits because I'm, you know, I mean, just not taking care of myself. Is it worth it? I think it's crazy how good you feel when you eat good, you eat clean, and you take care of yourself with vitamins and supplements, but people don't know that, right? Like if you're always eating fast food, you think you feel okay until you start getting the proper sleep. You start taking the, the right nutrition. You start getting to the gym or you just be, become active. In fact, I ran into someone the other day in the gym. He was telling me he's trying to get in the gym three hours a day. If that's what you wanna do, do it. But I told him, you know, just cause I'm in here three hours a day, like this is bodybuilding, this is my thing. I'm trying to win a show, go to nationals become a pro in, in the next couple of years and everything, I don't even advocate others to do that. You know, I tell them, if I wasn't competing, I would do a get in, hit stuff for an hour, enjoy my gym time, enjoy my active time, and get out. Just a little insight there for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and smash meal number one. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch. I'm gonna get changed, get ready for Damien, and I'll see you guys when I get ready for the pre-workout meal. I'll show you guys what that looks like coming up next. All right, guys, it is about 9.30 right now. I did a little bit of YouTube work. Always working on the channel. Always trying to improve the channel for you guys because this content is for you guys. I hope you benefit some something, anything from it. If you get entertainment out of it, if you get motivation out of it, 
please guys let me know in the comments like seriously that keeps me motivated keeps me going and and drop a like if you enjoy the video so far I guess prep does some crazy things to me the the less food I'm having right the more creative I'm trying to get so that things taste good which is funny because I was actually looking at my diets from bulk so if you guys are new to the channel or you haven't watched my previous videos before I started this cut in, I think January 18th is when I started this cut, I weighed 257 pounds. On that diet, I used to get a ton of eggs. Me and my girlfriend once did the macros for my breakfast because I was eating more at breakfast than she was the entire day at one point for her prep. I used to get four packets, four packets of oatmeal. And let me tell you, right now, I remember eating that meal thinking, man, this is too much food. And now, I wish I had it guys. I wish I had it. So anyways, I'm trying to make things taste a little bit better. You guys may have seen this shake, a variation of this shake earlier on the channel. Um, it's a lot more, there's a lot less to it now. So what we're gonna do is I throw in, we got a banana there, then this baby food cereal, which guys basically, it's just carbs. And then this is Optimum Whey. Uh, Optimum Nutrition 100% Whey. I've been using that literally since high school. This little tub here, is just over yeah just under two pounds and it's fifty dollars but i'm telling when i tell you guys you could eat that protein raw protein raw vegan protein with a spoon <laughs> i mean it like i literally love it the less water you use with that the better like i swear to you if you get the chocolate it tastes like brownie mix i wish i had a little discount code for you guys but i do not unfortunately but i'm telling you like if there's any other more, I don't even think there's a more real way to say it. I'm not sponsored, I don't get anything from it, but like literally if I had the money, I would tell you guys if you buy it and you don't like it, if you buy the chocolate vegan protein powder and you don't like it, hit me up and I'll refund you. Like that's how close I am. <laughs> like I love this stuff, I love it, it's so good. What I do now is I have one banana, I'm only having one cup of baby food cereal, and then I have one scoop vanilla ice cream, one scoop chocolate. Dude, I'm telling you, it gives you this like McDonald's frosty vibe, okay? And then I put like maybe six or seven ice cubes in it to kind of thicken it up and chill it, and I make it an hour early. So I'm not gonna have this until 10.30, and what I do is I make it, and then I put it in the freezer for like 45 minutes. If you guys try it, like tag me on IG. My IG is always at the end of every video. It's down, it's in the links down below. Like tag me in your story. Let me know, like let me know how it tastes. If you try the vegan protein, let me know how that goes. But we're gonna go ahead and whip this up. Oh my Lanta boys. Look at, you could just, that looks like a Frosty. Like, tell me that doesn't look like a Frosty. Let me get you in there. Let me get you in there. Come on. Tell me that doesn't look like a Frosty. So, uh, that's it, though. That's the shake. I'm not gonna have it now. I do have my protein. This is two scoops of just Optimum Nutrition Whey for right after the gym. And then, I keep forgetting to mention to you guys, today is actually a high day for me. So, if you're looking at this thinking, wow, what an easy day of prep. That's because yes, it is. Today is a higher day. I'm trying to build up my chest a little bit. It's just looking like a little bit of a bird chest. So I do get two refeed meals, which I'm gonna share with you guys. There's no secrets here. So I don't want anyone to be like, wow, I wish I was in prep. And I don't want to be fake, you know, like those TikTokers that show you like, oh, I'm eating burgers. The king of diet, he's always eating burgers and stuff. Listen, that's not real life, and that's not my diet week to week or day to day or any of that. This week, I get these meals, so I enjoy them. I will see you guys at the gym. And we made it to the gym, guys. You just saw me have my, uh, my pre-workout drink there. Like the, my pre-workout, it's like my meal. I uh, showed you guys how to make that. Now we're at the gym. I'm with Damien. He's going to film this workout. It's a chest workout today. Uh, I can't even remember, honestly, when, when you guys saw this one last. It's probably been a, a long, long while. But we're just under six weeks out now. I waited at 2.30 this morning. And uh, I'm just going to get after it. We're going to start with uh, Smith bench press. We're going to do 10 sets of 10 reps. I'm trying to work up and wait every single set. Um, Obviously, the further along my prep gets, the harder it is for me to push myself, but I'm gonna keep pushing myself. And these past couple weeks, honestly, I've still been hitting PRs, even while cutting. So we'll see what we can do. This thing is all fucked up. Sunday is my least, yep, it's my new least favorite day. Like, the music's quiet. Everybody's half asleep. <laughs> I don't even know, man. But when you gotta work out six days a week, 
So that's so what you gotta do. I used to not work out on weekends at all. God, that was the life. <laughs> Monday through Friday, work ends on Friday, you finish up a workout, you fucking call it a week. You just do whatever you want. But I used to drink back then. <laughs> I used to eat shitty food. I remember one weekend, we played uh, we played chess with those little, <laughs> you know those bottles you get from the liquor store? Um, no, I'm not a drinker. <laughs> I drink water. But you know what I'm talking about. Uh, what are they called? They're like little sample shots. But yeah, they're shots. So we, we got a different one for each chess piece. And every time we took the, like only the main pieces, we had real pawns. And every time you take a big chess piece, you had to drink it. <laughs> and then we had a pizza. So clearly I wasn't in the best physical shape then. <laughs> And I actually remember the coach I'm with now, he used to say like, man, we can make so much more progress if you would just quit messing around with alcohol. And I started to take things more serious and uh, here we are. I'm gonna use some chalk, you guys talk shit if you want. But uh, it's like everyone that grabs this bar, uh, like eats bologna first and then just, so it's slippery and I don't like it. <laughs> And when I use this chalk, I can really like put the power down, even though it's not. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> if you can grip something, you can you can do you can just do better. Like if you're deadlifting and you can grip the bar, you can lift heavier. If you're doing bench and I can get a good grip, you're gonna lift heavier. Instead of this salami grip I got, <laughs> feels like a cold cut on a Sunday. <laughs> So slippery. Yes. <laughs> you didn't see that. Days where there's only five people in here and everyone's on something that I need, so we're fucking cool. <laughs> we're gonna do these, uh, like chest even more dips. We're gonna do six, five, four, three, two, one. So it's a pretty quick set. Just gonna rest 15 seconds in between. Just knock these out really fast. Cool. Not bad. <laughs> I have to count on my fingers. <laughs> Adding 15 to the time, I can never do it. I'm gonna send you all kinds of stuff. I don't even know if I'm gonna use this. Feels pretty high. Does it look high? Does you look high? Does it look high? <laughs> so if you guys watched my last video or two videos ago, 
and the hamstring when I do like 50 reps and we do a rest pause. We're gonna do the exact same method on this. Um, you're gonna hold in the stretch for two, a two count. Get, you wanna pick a weight that you can get like 20 reps with. And we're gonna go to 50. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna like failure around 20 is where we want the weight. And then rest 15 seconds, go again. And you continue doing that until you hit 50. All right, so we're doing L raises. Uh, it's just basically when you make an L. So you go like this, 15 uh, each way. And you superset with this, 20 reps, but you don't want this one to be the failure. So you just want it to be challenging, but you don't want to be failing on it, which is usually a struggle for me because you pick a weight and you think it's good. And then by the time you get done with these, you're like torch and you hit that and it ends up being failure, but you know, just try your best. All right, guys, that completes today's workout. If you enjoy the workout, please smash the like button. Um, since there's a full day of eating today, normally I say goodbye here, but I'll see you guys at the house when I have my post-workout meal. And we're home, just like that, boys. I got a sub from Firehouse Subs. I got uh, roasted turkey and provolone, and I got lettuce, tomato, and onion on that. No uh, seasonings or anything like that. And then I got Cool Ranch Doritos. Now, I thought <laughs> this is like a mini me. I, it was supposed to be big, but I don't know. I've kind of noticed like this is the second uh, different sub shop I went to. And I guess like not all sub shops are like uh, Subway where you get a foot long. Some of them it's like a small, medium, large or whatever. And I just ordered it like normal and it's not very big. So I'm not like... <laughs> Super happy, but it's not chicken and rice, so I'm pretty happy. Honestly, I smashed that workout. Damien, you just saw it. I'm starving, so I'm gonna demolish this and I'll get with you guys for the next meal. Boys, we've done it. We've secured meal four. It is five guys, burgers, and buys, baby. I like to get, well, actually, the, <laughs> the coach tells me what to get. So I got a cheeseburger, the normal cheeseburger with two patties and one piece of cheese. I think, unless they put two, I don't pay attention. It's so good. And I got a regular fry. Literally, it's written in my plan. And I know what you're thinking. Wow, Mike, really hard day of prep. Trust me, the other days, my calories are super, super low. The next meal I actually got to put together, I'll show you guys. And that's, that's a little glimpse into the real day. Prep has been interesting. I've been trying to enjoy it because here's the thing. The way I think about prep is it's like anything else, right? Like I lived in California and you think, Oh man, this is awesome. Like never get snow, whatever. You realize like around Christmas, you're like, oh man, like this doesn't feel like Christmas. Halloween doesn't feel like Halloween. It doesn't feel right, it feels weird. And so, you know, winter at home in Pittsburgh sucks, right? But then when the summer comes, you appreciate it. I'm just appreciating prep because right now, it kind of sucks because I am hungry. I wake up hungry, I can't wait. I like fantasize about food. I'm just, I'm not letting myself complain or get Oh man, prep sucks, because no, prep is awesome, because then guess what? When I get to reverse, guess who's gonna enjoy it? Guess who's gonna enjoy a legit cheat meal once a week? It's all worth it, it's all worth it. So no matter what phase you guys are in, just hang on and just keep going. I'm gonna devour this burger, and then I'll show you guys a nice boring meal and a boring end to the night, something when I'm back on track for the diet. And we're back. It's my second to last meal, and I'm gonna show you guys right now, it is Eight quick ounces of ground beef right here. Boom. Look at that, that looks real tasty. Not, I always double check guys, just to make sure, especially during prep, this is important to me, so boom. I take a container, zero that bad Larry out, 
and then I make sure that I wasn't drunk when I did it, eight ounces on the dot. Now, the only thing I get to add to this is one tablespoon right here of EVOO. I'm gonna throw that in there. And then I'm gonna have two ounces of avocado. I'm gonna throw that together. I'm going to eat that meal. And I'll see you guys at the last meal. The night is almost over. It is about 8.30. My coach said he wants to see what I look like tonight after having those two refeed meals. And then I have to get up in the morning and show him what I look like. And I gotta fly tomorrow, so I have to get up super early. I'll see you in the last meal. Just like that, boys, that's gonna be the last meal right there. It is two scoops vanilla, uh, optimum nutrition, 100% whey, and then one scoop raw. I like it because it gives it that chocolatey, uh, I like to say McDonald's Frosty. I made it literally just like the um, pre-workout shake you guys saw, just one other scoop of um, optimum nutrition whey protein in there and then of course no baby food cereal or anything like that there's no extra additives the only thing i do throw in the shake at night is uh, evoo a little bit of those healthy fats and having said that boys that is gonna be it from me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's probably gonna be one of the longest videos i've ever put together so if you guys like the longer videos please smash the like button drop me a comment down below let me know you liked it you didn't like it you like seeing what i eat for prep, you like following me around for the day, or you just like the workouts, just let me know, because I like to hear from you guys. This is all because of you guys. I'm so grateful for every single one of my subscribers. Seriously guys, like, <laughs> it means so much to me. I'll catch you guys in the next one.